I want to show you how to make deposit in Bybit. So how to deposit crypto in Bybit. It is an easy process. It may seem complex for some people. So you head over to your Bybit app. Allow it to open. Once you are there, you need to go to your assets. So this is the amount of money that I have in my Bybit. You need to go to your assets at the lower right hand corner here. Click on it. Then you click on deposit. So you want to deposit, right? And then there are different ways of depositing. But the one we are interested in is depositing of crypto in Bybit. So I will click on deposit crypto. So it depends on the type of crypto you want to deposit. If you want to deposit Solana, the wallet address is different from when you want to deposit USDT. It's different from when you want to deposit Ethereum and it's different from when you want to deposit Bitcoin. So take note of that. And then what I want to deposit is USDT. That's the type of crypto. It's a stable coin that I want to deposit into my account. If it's Ethereum, you would have just clicked Ethereum here. If it's Bitcoin, you will click this. If it's Solana, XRP. If you don't have anyone, you can search here. So it can be Tron. Tron. Good. So there's no option for that. Let's see if we can see with okay so see it here so if is this you wanted you can easily do whichever one that you want to deposit you simply search it here so i is usdt i want to deposit so see it coming up here so is this one right you click on it now you need to crypto is transported or transferred from one account to another using a blockchain so there are oh, a network. So the type of network, like in your country, you could have telecommunication networks that you use for making calls. And some are faster, some are sluggish, some carry high charges. So that is the same thing with um, crypto. So for this one, I always love transferring using Tron Network, TRC20, because it's cheaper. ERC20 and they say it's safer all are safe they will tell you it's safer but is the transaction fees are high so for this you are charged like about one point something dollars USDT to transfer it whereas this one can charge as high as sometimes three point something or it could be more depending on the network that you are using so there are different networks here so take note of whatever type of network that someone specify you can't just simply send money like that or send crypto like that without specifying the type of network so when someone gives you a crypto wallet you have to ask of the network to use if not your crypto will be lost so i'm going to use trc20 for this you see, that's why they are warning you here. Please confirm that you are depositing USDT to this address on the TRC network. Mismatch of information may result in permanent loss. So take note. So this is it. Right? You can either use from whatever. So I'm depositing to this account. This Bybit account. So I have another Bybit account that I will use. I will, I'm going to show you. Now, you, it's not only Bybit to Bybit, right? You can actually transfer from KuCoin to Bybit or from BinkX, anywhere, any exchange. You can transfer from there to Bybit, okay? So here, I'm going to show you Bybit to Bybit, but it is simply the same. From KuCoin, you simply specify you want to withdraw your crypto, then they will give you the option to include the type of crypto you will choose usdt and then network you choose trc20 then you are now coming to copy this address so i'm going to copy this address and then i'll include it for my withdrawals from the 
other bybit account i will not include it so that the money will be transferred to and deposited to this bybit account so i am going to show you when that happens so i will copy the next i'm going to show you the other bybit account that i'm going to use and you'll see how it is being done i will return back so i will go to my bybit app in the other account i'll click on it allow it to open you follow the same procedure as if you were depositing but this time around i am withdrawing from this bybit account and then i'm transferring it to the other bybit account or to another exchange so it's withdrawal that i'm going to click so you go to assets and then you click on withdraw now to protect your funds you add your email i've already added set up uh, google authentication so i'm going to show you how to do that okay it's not set so i will set it up so you send the verification code to your email to confirm so i'll wait for the verification code so two five five eight eight nine two five five eight eight nine good please install google authentication app on your phone so i have installed that now i will cut this part off in order to do this three zero two seven four eight good so i have set up my google authentication so now i'm going to click on withdraw so i will select i want to withdraw usdt from this account and deposit it in the other account now if i want to withdraw a different currency then it means you should have that under your asset is only the currency you have that will be displayed it moves from your funding account unified trading account is for trading so you can withdraw from it unless you transfer money from your unified back to your funding and you use this option of transfer like you click on transfer so you are transferring is it from funding to unified no we want to transfer from unified to funding so that is how you do okay but i have money in my funding so i'm going to transfer hundred dollars from usd from this to the other bybit account so i will now click on withdraw and then you specify but the only one i have is i'm just saving the money as usdt so you click on usdt you see what i told you now is requesting for that address that um I copied from the other account is requesting for it now you are going to put it here paste it here then the network you specify it was trc20 you see their charges 1.3 dollars for this one ton network is zero dollars for this one is 1.3 this one is one dollar this one like that see the erc20 i told you eight dollars this is very high okay so the money will be deducted from your remaining account balance is not going to be deducted inside the amount you specify that you will transfer okay so i'm going to specify trc20 okay so if i include hundred dollars you can see the minimum amount that you can withdraw is 2.6 dollars now i'm withdrawing hundred dollars it means you see this amount this 1.3 dollars they are not going to deduct it from here so you don't need to add 101.3 no they will deduct it from my remaining balance so if the amount that is remaining is not up to 1.3 they will tell you it's insufficient balance so it can't it has to cover for the remaining balance must cover for this withdrawal fees of 1.3 so i'm going to input 
my address now one thing with the address don't try typing that address yourself please copy it and paste it if you are copying from one phone like i'm doing now i'm showing you from using different phones i will send it as a mail and then i will now copy it always copy so that you will not miss a single digit don't try it because if you have sent money mistakenly to another wallet it cannot be recovered that's the downside of crypto so take note of this i'll go to my email i will copy it so i'm copying the whole of this i'll paste this here okay okay now there's this option of scanning that's the option you saw that barcode that is in the other account okay now if you want to scan you simply click on it if you don't want to include it yourself okay now you see they're telling this address is linked to a bybit account it allows internet transfer to enjoy zero transaction fees now i i can easily click the ask you of the username of the person or the email and then you it will go instant but this one i'm showing you how you can do that even if it's not with a bybit account you can transfer money from kucoin and then deposit it in bybit you get so i'm showing you that so i won't use this even though they are going to charge me 1.3 dollars for this okay so i will show you the option of the scanning so i'm going to click on this i'm going to click on the option to scan you can see the scanning how it works so i'm scanning the address and once you scan even if okay let me just delete this that i pasted right so you can use copy paste to your email and then you copy it and paste here right or you can use this option of the scanning good now you see by scanning it has copied the exact wallet address here but it will not specify the network for you so you remember to specify this network enter your amount okay confirm that is usdt that you are sending network these are important things and then you click on withdraw here right now for the internal transfer is this one is very easy swift is instant you get no charges if it's by bit to buy bit okay but that will be another video so you click on withdraw they will ask you to confirm so next time there shouldn't be verification for this address because is my second account so you click on confirm now you get your code they will send you a code to confirm through your email that you are actually the person and then through the authentication app again so i'll go to the email so this is the code i'll copy 72143 paste it here then i will go to my google authenticator app and copy what is there 889641889641 so once you are done you click confirm and that's it withdraw submitted at 3 21 pm utc plus one let's see the time it will take to arrive in process please head to the assets page to check the status so let's see how long not now so you see money has been deducted with the charges as well so let's see the time now is 3 22 one minute one minute it has reached money has been received okay you see you have one deposit request pending Con so it's pending confirmation now in crypto the money needs to be confirmed across the blockchain so it needs about 20 confirmations but it's this within few seconds it should be confirmed okay so let's refresh you see now 14 has been confirmed it has all been confirmed you see there is that's the notification so when you 
it has succeeded so it takes one minute for you to receive it one minute to confirm it and we now have it reflecting in our asset now this is how to deposit crypto in bybit very easy refresh this very easy so you can use this to do your trading you can trade with it go to derivatives so you can decide this to choose what you want to trade if it's bitcoin you can do that if you want to sell or if you simply want to store it you leave it here or you want to buy um if you want to buy any crypto as a form of investment then you use the spot option so spot is like you buying with the hope that when the price goes up you will now sell it back or you use derivatives where you can actually sell and you still be making profit even if the price is going down and you can buy and make profit if the price is going up okay that will be a different video so this is how to deposit crypto in bybit very easy if you have any question regarding this let me know in the comment section bye